Okay, this is the Modern Max last second chapter for from five students. Okay, I understand most of the students do not like this chapter because they will think this chapter is very complicated. Okay, so today I'm going to like simplify this chapter, make, make this chapter very easy to understand. Okay, so let's start about let's start about longitude first so first before start this chapter you have to understand what is the meaning by longitudes so we always call it longitude and you will always see this these words in okay you will always see this word in this chapter so what is the meaning for longitudes? Okay, for longitudes, okay, okay I think there's some spelling mistake here. Okay, the longitudes is T U T E. Okay, longitudes will, will always means the okay the flight will move from east to west or west to east. So when you see the words longitudes, it will related to east and west, west to east. So when you see the word longitude, will means it is moving from east to west or west to east. East to west or west to east. So this is related to the longitudes. Okay, means what? Means actually for longitudes, we, the flight is moving from E to west, west to E. Okay, and then he not necessarily in the equator. He can be anywhere. If, for example, maybe he can. Okay, maybe he can be here. And then, because here actually got a lot of different plates of latitudes. So actually, maybe he can from here. Okay. He came from here, from east to west, west to east, east to west, west to east. So when you see longitude, you have to understand this one is actually moving from east to west or at, or west to east. This is longitude. Okay, now I start to teach what is longitude. Okay, so when you see the word longitude, you have to find one very important line, which is what we call Greenwich Meridian. Okay, Greenwich Meridian is is the zero angle for the longitudes means actually all the longitude will start at this line okay this is something like like all the angle have to start from zero so greenwich meridian is the line start from zero so for example this is greenwich meridian okay i write short form gm stand for greenwich meridian okay so if from greenwich meridian i move 70 angle to east side if let's say I move 70 angle to east side this one we will call it 70 E because I move 70 angle to east side if I move 110 to east side means this one we will call it if you move 110 to east side we will call it 110 E same thing if you move 40 angle to website this one we call it 40 West. Okay, so if you move 50 to west side, move 50 angle to west side, this one we call it 50 west. Okay, so Greenwich Meridian will always start at zero. Remember, Greenwich Meridian is always start at zero. But then in your exam, most of the time, he, he will not write out Greenwich Meridian for you. He will just write a, a zero for you. So if you write a zero for you, you have to understand this line actually is the Greenwich Meridian. And Greenwich Meridian not necessarily always in this position. This line actually can move to here, can move to anywhere. Because actually Earth, you, have, you will have 360 line. And then one of the line is Greenwich Meridian. Okay? Uh, if you understand about Greenwich Meridian, you have to understand actually this is Earth. Earth means the whole the whole Earth is 360 degree. Mean actually 
from here to here mean the half is 180 so you have to understand from here to here is 180 so another 180 is behind so total 180 here 180 here you got 360 okay so let's try some okay this is Greenwich Meridian for example okay this is the middle center means you imagine this is a 3, 3D earth so okay from Greenwich Meridian okay if I go to this line and then I tell you here is 110 okay so what you need to understand is from Greenwich Meridian okay now he moved this side 110 so means what means now the whole latitude here will be 110 E because actually him from Greenwich Meridian he moved east side 110 degree so this whole line will mean 110 E remember 110 E is not only here means the whole coordinates here is called 110 110 can be here means you will have all the coordinate in these longitudes is we call it 110 okay so if this one is 110 maybe he will ask you what is the okay i use different color easy for you to refer okay he will ask what is the longitude for this line okay what is the longitude for this one? If here is 110. So you have to know. Okay, what is here first? If for example here is 20. So I see the half here you got 180. So you will left how many here? 110 plus 20, you got 130. So this here you got 50. Because all plus together you got 180 so means from Greenwich Meridian to this longitude is 50 so means okay this is the Greenwich Meridian means from Greenwich Meridian we move until here we have got, we have got 50 angle here so Greenwich Meridian move 50 angle to west side so the whole longitude here we call it 50 west because he moved 50 angle to west side so we call it 50 west so how about this longitude how about this longitude okay this is Greenwich Meridian he moved 110 and then moved another 20 so actually from Greenwich Meridian he already moved 130 to east side so means for this longitude we call it 100 30 e okay got it so if this one is 130 e at the same time even in in this latitude means actually if okay this is a center o means from greenwich meridian okay this is a greenwich meridian to here the angle on between is 130 okay and then from greenwich meridian Okay, to here, to this longitude, we will got it, the angle is 50. Because this latitude is 50 west. So from Greenwich Meridian, this one we will got 50 angle here. Okay. Okay. And let's have a look on latitudes. Okay. Now, okay. This is something about latitudes. Okay, so when you see the words latitudes, you have to understand. When you see the word latitude, you have to understand it is moving from north to south and south to north. He moving from from north to south and south to north, and he got something like Greenwich Meridian, but then in latitude. They call it equator. Equator means they will start the zero angle here. 
Okay, equator will always mean this is zero. So for latitude, actually, he, let's say he from equator, he going up 50 angle. This one we call it 50 north. Going down, we call it, let's say 50 angle below, we call, we'll call it 50 S. Okay, so you have to understand. Okay, so maybe I draw one line. Okay, this line I call it equator. So equator will mean he start at zero angle. Okay, so what you need to understand is if from equator I going up, I going up let's say 70 degree, this one we call it 70 north. If from equator I going down 30 degree, we call it 30 south. We will call it 30 south. Okay, and the maximum you will see is 90. Okay, because from equator when you go until okay let's say you from equator zero here you go until maximum here is 90 degree and you arrive at north here so if you go continuous actually you will decrease to 80 70 and then go back to zero same thing for the north side means you go the maximum north is 90 or so so actually you should imagine in this earth actually you have 90 plate here Okay, this is one on the plate on the middle, we call it equator, it's zero. So let's say, let's say, let's say, okay, this is equator. So let's say from equator, okay, we're going up 50 degree. Equator is zero. Going up 50 degree, this means the whole latitude here. Okay, this is the whole latitude. Is 50n means 50n is not only this point 50n is all the coordinate here in this circle 300 360 degree whole equate whole coordinate here is 50n okay means from equator go up 50 degree this one will be 50n okay so let's say if we from equator Go all the way to South Pole. What is the degree? When you from equator, this is equator, we go all the way to South Pole. This one will be 90 degree. Okay? If you from equator, we go down, let's say we go down 40 degree. This one we will call it 40S. And remember, 40S is not one coordinate here. 40S is for whole plate here okay means the whole plate here will be 40s okay this is for latitudes okay maybe you can try have a look on some example he can help you more understand about about this chapter and uh, before that because sometimes exam he will tell you let's say this is coordinate a to north pole Okay, he asks you find the distance to A uh, from A to North Pole. So you have to understand actually angle on between here will be 40. Because from equator to North Pole is 90. Here is 50, you just use 90 minus 50, you got 40. Okay. This is the brief introduction about latitudes and longitudes, and then I think I will do more videos for how to actually how to find the degree. I mean how how do you find the distance, how to find average speed and how to find shorter distance and diameter and everything. But then because it will be a very long video so I cut it to few parts. So the first part is I will briefly explain about longitude and latitude. So remember longitude will mean actually we'll move east to west, west to east, that that one we call longitude. And latitude is Actually, we're moving from north to south and south to north. That one is latitude. Thanks for watching.